Hello, hello. Let's wait for more people to come in. Today we're doing something really special, guys. We are making target curves. That's right. Have you guys ever wanted your own target curves before? That's right. Today we're making target curves. But let's wait for more people to come in first. <laughs> in the meantime, you know, hello. Everyone say hi. Ask a question. Anything. Just hang out for a while until more people come and join us. But yeah, today we're making target curves. I should put it up on the screen, actually. Yeah. I should put it up on the screen. How do I edit this text? Oh, I feel like such a boomer still. Making target curves. Yeah, and, oh, this is like white though. I need it to be, uh, yeah, I need it to be black. I don't know how to edit this. How do you do this? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> okay, this, does this work? Okay. Yay, all right, making target. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how I make target curves. Yeah, how I made the Tibby target curve, how you can make your own target curve, etc. Um, and you can use your own target curve that you made, the file, on any squig site. Uh, mine, Super Reviews, you know, anyone's squig site. And it's just overall very... Uh, it's useful in a way, and it's also fun too. Uh, yeah, if you have a preference that you know and... None of the reviewer target curves are matching exactly what you want. You can make your own. So yeah, but first let me announce here on Discord that I am live. Um, all right, let's see. Perfect. All right, hello. Hello for those of you jumping in today. We're making target curves. <laughs> David Chen said, quick question. As someone who owns the, the Diva, is it worth getting the Oracle or would SA6 Mark II be better? Uh, Oracle is very, uh, I say Oracle is pretty different, but if you want completely different, then SA6 Mark II is completely different to, um, from Diva. So I think that would be more of a... Uh, more worth it uh, approach if you want you know not if you don't want something redundant that is so yeah all right let's see we'll wait for more people to come in let's do a quick q a session for now until like more people join and then i'll start the uh making target curve tutorial because i'm only gonna do the, the, the tutorial once I think I'm going to make the, a video on this as well sometime in the future. So this live stream is kind of like a test run of the tutorial to see if you guys can like understand what I'm trying to teach. <laughs> and then later on, I'll make like a more polished up version for a video. Uh, heard the new quintet? No, I got a quartet. <laughs> but they released stuff so fast before I could even talk about the quartet and is our quintet. I had the short S12, didn't like it very much, and I bought like I bought the Eco or 10. You think there's a big difference, like sound wise or technicalities? I mean, they're pretty. I I can't remember exactly the tech on OH10, but they sound pretty different in terms of you know. The IEMs, I guess. The S12 is pretty, pretty special. Don't worry, I'm sure your teaching will be fine. My ability to retain anything, on the other hand. <laughs> uh, 
These solar flares are messing with my internet. Solar flares? Is there solar flares around you? Is that is that what it is? <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We got 32 people so far. Did I tag it correctly here? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. All right, cool. Let's see. Oh, rinse, rinse is here. Oh, would you say seven hertz time is worth the extra? Da 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 da. All right. So I forgot to do one thing actually. Let me switch over to this screen. Um. So. I'm going to put in the description right now, I don't know if you guys can see it update in real time, but uh, let's see. All right. I edited the description with a link to a Google Drive. And uh, all right, let's see. Before I, before I continue that, let's just officially start the uh, the tutorial see see how organized I am I'm <laughs> very organized today but yeah today welcome to the stream we have 39 viewers at the moment we are making target curves I'm going to teach you how I make my target curve and how you can make your own as well now there's multiple ways to make target curves this is not the only way this is just the way that I learned how to do it okay so First of all, what you're going to need, well, I'm going to just hide this text now. First of all, what you're going to need is some target uh, file, text file, and you can get that in the link below. It will take you to a Google Drive. Download, I only have two on there right now. I have the Harman 2019 and I have the original IEF, uh, Crin's old target on there. So the first thing, Actually, I'm going to give you guys like a couple seconds to go and download that if you want to follow along, you know, just in case you guys want to follow along. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a couple seconds on that one. Let's see. With join, but it's right as school's about to start for me. It's okay, man. It's okay. You can watch me during school. The, the professor understands. <laughs> When will I add the performer eight to my ranking list? Very soon. I I I should have added a long time ago. All right. So now that you guys have the curve, the first step you want to do go on my website, of course, timmy dot timmyv dot squig dot ink. Go to equalizer. This tab up here. Click upload fr, not upload target upload fr and you'll see why in a second click upload fr and now you want to just select the target file that i just uh, that you just downloaded from me whether it's the ief one or the Harmon one i'm going to use the ief og because i think that's a nice flat template as you can see here the ief target upload as a graph instead of as a target and this is exactly what we want we don't want the dotted line we want it to upload exactly like this okay so now what you want to do is hide my target you can do so down here and just close it or hide it doesn't matter next step is you want to take a screenshot of this just click this little icon up here take a screenshot Perfect. Everyone following along? Everyone uh, not lost yet? <laughs> hey, Hobby, what's up? We're making target curves today. Yeah, we're, we're teaching people how to make their own target curve. So there's going to be a sea of target curves in the, uh, in the community now. You're welcome. <laughs> Timmy target is this completely the same as EE e. Odin? No. <laughs> Um, all right, so after you take the screenshot, I'm going to post this website for you in chat right now. You're going to need to go to this website. I'm going to add it to the description as well. It's webplot digitizer. Let me add that to the description really quickly. 
Alrighty then. Alright, so get on to Webplot Digitizer and you should land on a page that looks like this. Cool, right? So now what you want to do is click Launch Now, right here. Alright, so I actually should give you guys a little bit more I think I like I jumped the gun a little bit and uh, talked a little too fast let's go back to the target uh, the, 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 the this graph really quickly so one thing I want to add to this is that of course you can turn this into you know I'm about to show you how to turn this into a text file that you can upload onto uh, squig and stuff like that but before um, if you want to change this target to your own, you can use this EQ tool right here. You can change it however you want. Like let's say I want to add some bass, so I'll add some low shelf, starting at like 200 hertz or something. Maybe add five gain. You know, oh, that looks so ugly. Maybe I want a curve that looks like that, right? So I'll hide the one that's not EQ'd and I'll take a screenshot of this one instead. So let's let's do this actually. Let's take a screenshot of this one instead, a modified IEF. And we're going to turn this into a text file that you can upload onto uh, onto anything. All right, now go back to the web plot website. Why is my web plot website like that? There we go. Perfect. Now you want to click, you want to come here on the right side and click load image choose file and just load the image that you just screenshot yeah just the the one you had just screenshot let me find it i cannot find it all right you see this pop up right here select the 2d x and y plot click align axis click proceed and there you go you should see that you know we uploaded the picture that we just screenshot onto this website now what you need to do is set your x points and y points first are the x points and the x points are the you know the x axis here the uh, the frequency so we're going to go to 20 hertz and try to you know line it up to closest to 20 hertz as much as possible and then all the way to 20,000 hertz, keeping the line uh, as straight as possible as well. So I like to line it up at this uh, at this 35, right around here. And the same thing, I'm going to do it over here, 20,000 hertz and 35. Next, once you have your X point and uh, once you have your X points, X1, X2 set, next is the Y points. Y points is the DB over here. So with Y1, you just want to click the same point as the X1. And for Y2, I like to go up to this 85 right here. And of course, again, try to keep the line as straight as possible. Right there. So now you have your X1, X2, Y1, and Y2. This is probably the most confusing part. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you guys can get past this part, you guys can make any curves, all right? <laughs> so let's click complete here on the right side. And this this uh, this live stream is going to be more interesting, trust me. Once I'm done teaching you guys how to make this, I'm actually going to make some for you guys. Yeah, like some community target curve. Why not? Why not have a little Giz Audio community target curve? You know, you guys can vote on how much base, whatever it is. So it'll be more interesting. But um, so when this screen pops up for the X axis, you want to put 20 and 20,000. This represents the frequencies, of course, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. You know, just put 20 and 20,000. You want to select log scale only for the X axis only. For the Y axis, since I have my Y point starts at... Um, my first Y point at 35, I'm going to put 35. And my second Y point, I had it at 85 dB, so I'm going to put 85. No log scale for this one. And then you just click OK. See, now you should be at this screen. All right, you guys like confused? You guys dead? 
<laughs> this is why we do this kind of testing first before I do the actual tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> all the math skills but you know it's it's fun to make your own target once you know how, it's actually much simpler than it looks it's just it's complicated to explain or i guess i'm just not the best teacher but once you know how to make it once it, you can make like a bajillion of them in like uh, 10 minutes <laughs> so next thing you want to do here is come to this little color square right here just click it um click the click color picker and now you just wanna you know you see this little cursor right here just line it up with the middle of the red here to select that color click it and click done now just click this little uh, run button right here this is kinda hard to see but you can see that there are points now on the graph you see all these little points just generated onto the uh, the curve you know and as you can see as well, there's also little points generated on the name of the uh, the curve as well. This, these are points that we don't want. We only want the points that's on the curve itself. So the way to delete these are to go over here to the right side. There's a little tool here that says delete points. Clicked on that. And now you have to manually uh, click these. <laughs> click all the points you want to remove. So I'm going to remove all these points. If you look at the uh, top right screen, you can see me just deleting points off. Yeah, <laughs> just delete all of these points because we don't want them. We only want the points that generated on the curve itself. Uh, this process takes a while if you name your, you know, your graph something really long. So pro tip, just name your graph something really short so it doesn't, you know, it's not as tedious to do this. All right, now that's done you have just the uh, the dot uh, the points that's on the curve itself now the next part is to go over to the left side here and click view data all right let's pause here for a second and uh, you guys can replay this however however many times you want <laughs> to get this you could have just taken a smaller screenshot. I mean, I mean, I guess I could, but just for convenience, you know, the screenshot button is already up there on the squig. Just make it life easier for people to follow. But yeah. Okay. Let's see. There's a label button in the squig tool to show or not the label. <gasps> Louis, you genius! I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, I've been making hundreds of test targets. And I didn't think about that once. Oh my god, you guys are smart. That's, I need you guys, see? I, like, I can't do this alone. This operation is too difficult. <laughs> oh, that would have saved me so much time. <laughs> but alright, so now that we're at this screen, I want you to uh, follow this exactly, alright? So in the sort by section, change it to X. Now down here, digits, change to two. Next to this ignore button, there's a little drop down, click that, change to fix. And now in the column separator, if you click on it, you'll see that there's a comma and there's an empty space right here. I want you to delete that empty space so now there's only that comma left, okay? So now when you click on it, there's only that comma. There's no extra space in there. Click Format, and look at that. That's exactly what we want. Now highlight the, the whole thing, or just click Copy to Clip or whatever it is. Highlight the, I just like to highlight the whole thing. It just looks fun. Highlight the whole thing, Copy, and now open an app like Notepad or something. That's what I use anyway, so. Open an app like Notepad, I'll show you here. Paste all the numbers in here. As you can see, they're all on here now. Go to File, Save As. And then uh, you can name it whatever you want. What should we name this? All right, just pick a name. I'll, I'll pick the first name. Anyone who names it first, I'm going to go with that name.
Do, 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 do. It's not that many steps. <laughs> it's uh, It seems like a lot, but it's really not, you know? Oh, uh, the waifu target just barely missed it. It's kombucha mushroom. <laughs> it's the kombucha mushroom target. <laughs> kombucha mushroom target. All right, so now that we have it saved, we're done. That's that's it. That's it. That's just done. So we can now go on to Squick tool once again and test to see if this target works. So you want to go to upload target this time, not upload FR because we want to see the target graph working. Upload target, um, select the uh, target curve, the kombucha mushroom <laughs> that we just uh, made there open up as you can see it tracks that line perfectly we turn off the see we have a target and you can use this on any squig site isn't that magical and it takes really like we only been live for how long not that long like if you once you learn how to do this it's mad quick man you can make a target in like five minutes or less two minutes even two three minutes if you're you know you're good enough it's not hard. You can use this anywhere. It's really cool. And I've used this to make the Timmy target, the um, some other target for other reviewers as well. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a fun one. All right. So if you guys missed the tutorial, feel free to you know jump back in time and watch that. <clears throat> Let's see what is this. Giz, try it on Super Review Squig. You don't need Webplot Digitizer. Do you not need Webplot Digitizer? Digitizer? But like I said again, I said in the beginning as well, there's probably multiple ways to make this. This is just the way I, I make it. <laughs> if there's an easier way, you know, uh, I'll do tell me. Uh, we'll explore it like some other time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is just uh, the way I do. I'll explore the super review way in a second here, maybe like after a live stream. But you know, let's do this. Uh, let's clean this up, and let's do um, a new community curve. Yeah, we'll do a live stream curve. All right. So first. I'm going to start with the IEF template because it is a nice looking easy template to use. All right. So what kind of curve do we want to go for? I don't even know how to like go about asking you guys about this, but what kind of curve do you think we should go for? I think we should go for like a neutral curve because if we go for like a true preference curve, it's going to be all over the place. Everyone's taste is just going to collide into many 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 uh things but um yeah let's go for something relatively balanced yeah so i'll let you guys decide yeah some some form of neutral with base boost you know but like we can decide the boost itself how much boost we want how much gain how much trouble we want etc all right Anything with no siblings. Well, the IEF um, target already has like no siblings. Uh, if you, if an IEM tracks this, then you won't hear any siblings. <laughs> it's rather tame, actually. That's why if you see my Timmy target, I put a little bit more, just a touch more trouble in the air department than uh, what Kryn uh, usually has on his. So I just like a little bit more trouble, personally. Let's see here. Give me some numbers. Plus 5 dB base. I mean, we can't do just that. It has to be more interesting than that. So where do you guys... Let's, let's, start, let's start with that. Plus 5 dB base. But where? Do you want it below 300? Below 200? Hmm. 
how to tilt 7-Eleven diffuse field. I mean, we can go to Crin's website and use the tilt tool and do it on the um, 5128, but no, you can't do it on the 7-Eleven graph, sadly. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, Milo said 5 dB base, 160 hertz, 0 0.5. All right, let's do that. Do, 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 do. I'm guessing low, do, 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 do. 0 0.5. Cool, 5 dB. Oops. Like that? You want it like that? Okay. Just hide that one. See now, now it looks like this. This is plus 69 dB base to 300 hertz. You know, just for laugh, I kind of want to see how that looks, what that looks like. <laughs> Uh, let's do 0 0.5 again. I just want to see. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, this is Hobby Talk's neutral target. <laughs> hey man, you can't even see the 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 base anymore. This sub base gone. All right, back to our uh, our community curve. You guys want to make any adjustment to like the gain at all? You want to gain up, down. Still need more base. <laughs> I hope Crin or anyone makes a tutorial to read 5128. You don't really need a tutorial to read 5128. It's like you didn't really need a tutorial to read 7-Eleven. It's like you're just used to reading 7-Eleven. So to read a 5128, just stop reading 7-Eleven graphs. <laughs> just just read 5128 graphs for a while to get, you know, familiar um to get familiar with it. Read look at graph of IEMs you own, you know, on the 5128 and just compare with other IEMs you've tried that you own, etc. until you get the experience. <laughs> Travel is having fun with the kite. <laughs> plus ten d plus ten base actually, but with the peak filter at two hundred hertz to lessen mud. Plus ten. There is so. Plus ten. So this is how I'm using the um, low shelf. Yeah, it's still that's still a lot of mud. <laughs> that's even more mud. <laughs> I think what you meant was a peak filter. Oh, so one second here. I think I know what you meant now. Here, let me let me try to fix that. So, Ooh, drop, drop it, drop it down. Uh, something like this. Maybe a little too much. Something like this. How about that? You know, that looks quite nice. You know. Who would like an IEM that graphs like that? That looks quite nice. Yeah, it's uh, starting to look good. Oh, looking, looking delicious. I can hear it already. <laughs> this is going to be a nice community curve. Yeah, it's, it's basic, but you can balance it out if you add more gain and treble as well. Or you can keep it like this because it's honestly, it, it's basic, but it's not like overwhelmingly so. In before it's Annihilator. <laughs> I mean, I, the base curve looks, uh, Annihilator has more mid base. Yeah, that's Annihilator. 
Annihilator has quite a bit more, uh, see, base, more gain, more treble. But we won't look at Annihilator today. We're, we're looking at our own um, sexy community curve. <laughs> All right. Are you guys happy with this? If you guys are happy with this, we're gonna we uh, we can uh, finalize this one at least. Is that Traley? No, I don't think so. I think Traley has less base than this, but I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a while. Oh look, look who who just oh it's listener. Oh my God, listener is here. Oh man, when it comes to technical knowledge, man, there's uh there's very few people. On planet Earth, that's better than listener. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm I'm hyping listener up right now. <laughs> listener hype. <laughs> Add air. Okay. We can do more air. If listener was to do this, though, he would kill the air. He would just like from six k hertz down would just be like cut off by 5 db <laughs> all right more 2.5k maybe at air <laughs> all right let's let's do the gain first let's let's add some 2.5k as requested this is a, a community target we're not gonna go crazy overboard though I think I think like 2 db Maybe, 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 maybe a little, maybe a little less, uh, maybe 2 dB is a little too much, maybe only 1.5. Let's do something like that. There we go. <laughs> uh, I probably just dip 1 to 2 kHz and call it. Don't lie to us, listener. You hate treble. <laughs> Uh, looks V-shaped. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's V-shaped because the treble is still quite tame. It just looks bassy. <laughs> All right, 17 k hertz plus 3 dB. What are you, like... You have a hearing of a 12-year-old. <laughs> mean meaning is good by the way meaning is good younger hearing equals good just for people who might get offended i'm gonna do it at 15k instead because 17 man come on the average age of this community can't hear it <laughs> oh no I'm gonna do uh, there. Oh, that looks horrible. Let's add it at like 12. Give it some actual like air. Or maybe even 10. Something like this. Yeah, there we go. Now we have some air. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> hey, side salad audit. Oh, we have like the technical people in inside this uh this. Uh, chat today we have listener we have side salad um cami doesn't count though um yeah so two two really really highly technical people <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just dunking on cami <laughs> um oh no jamie my beloved <laughs> yeah that's starting to look good i think I think Camify uh requested to dip 1k. Hey Cami, give me give me some specifics specific number, you know, like Q factor and gain etc. So I can actually like input this. How to make hobby talk target. Yeah, just slap in the meteor and that is his target. You know, it's meteor plus base. Is because meteor doesn't have enough base. <laughs> do 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 minus one at one k, and we're gonna go. 
So something like this. Is that what you want? Like one, one, like this. One point two. Maybe at like nah at this something like this. Negative two. Negative two is a little much. I think uh, one point five. You know. So if you guys do not know, dropping this this section right here can cause warmth to happen as well if dip too much, but also kind of helps create a good sense of space at the same time. So the contrast between this little section right here, the 1K section, and the um, you know the, the rest of the upper mid range, and the treble, um, yeah, can cause can create a sense of space. There you go. I was just looking for a word. I gotta go finishing up work later. Later, side salad. We miss you already. Oh, oh, listener said 14, negative 5, Q1. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Well, there you go. A uh, listener has spoken. This is the uh, listener's uh, neutral target. <laughs> you know, the, our, our graph was looking kind of nice and then... Uh, <laughs> Wait, it's just... <laughs> Listener, what have you done? So, another another uh, another thing I always wonder is like, what kind of graph would would be um would would it take to, to get like a complete F tier on Critical's ranking list? Besides, you know, besides the uh, the airline buds, of course, that's super obvious. Probably dip less if you have that base shelf. <laughs> So let's do like negative one dip. All right, let's do something like this. So this is going to be warm, bassy, <laughs> slightly shouty. and <laughs> It's just going to be a very colored I am now. But uh, it's, um, it's a community target. <laughs> this is just for fun. Okay, let's see what else people are wanting. Oh yeah, 1.5k uh the with larger q. Yeah. There you go. Maybe with larger q. That's a good idea so it's not so uh it's not so uh, affecting of the the rest of the, you know, we still wanted to make it an enjoyable curve, I guess. <laughs> no meme curve today. <laughs> so yeah, let's do let's do something like this. All right. This is a little bit more, a little bit more appealing. <laughs> campfire orbit, you know, I wanna, I wanna see the campfire orbit actually. Uh, the curve for it, I haven't looked at it. Who has it? Oh God! <laughs> That's the orbit. Oh no, Bruh. it looks like this is not even compensated to anything. This is just raw. <laughs> oh man, let's see what other um, campfires available on here, shall we? Oh look, we have the legend, of course. We have the uh, trifecta on here. Thank you, Tech Power Up, for graphing everything. Uh, we have. I've not seen the Sabres graph. I mean, God, that's horrendous as well. Um, Stella Horizon. Oh, Stella Horizon. Is that the new one? Let's hide that. Uh, let's look at this. This is one of the newer one. The. Um, oh. 
Uh, oof, oof, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Riding the uh, <laughs> roller coaster. Nah, get orbit if you're allergic to vocals. And Drama 2023, I don't think Tech Power Up has it on here, sadly. He doesn't have the, uh, the, that one. Oh, look, someone has Supermoon Universal on Graph. Hey, you know, that just looks like an S12. Looks like a, and it sounds like a better S12 as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's just a cleaner or, you know, more more balance out s12 i guess you can say yeah it's like a better s12 yeah 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 looking good i actually like the super moon you know i i want a super moon someday hopefully but yeah back back to the good stuff <laughs> satsuma satsuma Honeydew, Mammoth. I mean, actually, Mammoth was not bad. Let's be fair. Mammoth is wasn't the worst. You know, it it it's, it's okay. <laughs> Holocene is actually uh, it's actually all right as well. It's relatively um, you know, <laughs> non contrast, <laughs> flat. <laughs> Looks like timeless. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The supermoon does look like timeless. Mud planet. <laughs> Alright, back to our community curve. I think we're almost done. I mean, it's looking pretty good, to be honest. I actually want to EQ something to this. And uh, just see how it sounds. I wonder what I am is the closest to this, to where I could just EQ to this and see. Da -da 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 -da. I think... I think D.Va would be a good candidate for this maybe because of the treble i could just up the air a little bit um we can go diva i had i normally have it on the white switch uh maybe a little too different let's see what my oracle 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 looks about good in the treble I'm always looking for the trouble to match first because the rest is not that hard. Okay, so let's do the Oracle. Ooh. So, Oracle. How do we do this? How do we auto EQ to an EQ target? I've never done that before, actually. That's, uh, that's in. Before I do anything, let's, let's, uh, let's actually just screenshot this so I can save it. <laughs> To make a target later, just so I don't mess it up. Let's see. Do I just eat? How do I do this? <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I guess I'll. I can just manually try this. Um. Here, let's uh, let's manually do this from the beginning. See, I need more base. So low shelf. I should read with you. Yeah, I gotta export EQ first, but hey, man, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this. So low shelf at maybe 160. I'm gonna do plus two. All right. I mean, we're uh, looking pretty close. Looking pretty close. All right. So then we just need to add a a little bit at 300. Cool, that matches. We're gonna drop the 1k by a little bit. Drop it. See? Okay, come on now. We got this. This this is too easy. This uh, this this is not a challenge even. Come on. We got this. So now we gotta add at um, 22 or 2150. We're gonna add some. Do, 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 do. Something that's too much. Uh, we're going to do. There we go. Oh. Uh, we're the best. Look at that. Drop that a little bit. Maybe make this just 21. Uh, 
Easy. Easy. So now we're going to drop the uh, 3 to 4K a little bit. Cool. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that is plenty good enough. That is really close already. So now we're going to export this EQ. Burp, burp. All right. Let's change this. Zero, zero. All right, let's do that again, export again. But why? If you're not mistaken, TV said that never EQ above 6K. I didn't. I didn't EQ above 6K. The reason you don't EQ above 6K is because it's just not, um, not accurate, I guess. That's why I don't do it. Because treble graph changes with just insertion depth, tip changes, so you're not going to get any form of accuracy whatsoever. <laughs> do, do, do. So right now I'm gonna I I have my um, equalizer APO open and I'm probably the only person that doesn't use the piece equal <laughs> the piece interface. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm an old school guy, you know. I like the non piece interface. Sue me. Actually, don't sue me. <laughs> don't have any money. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying there. Okay, I'm going to copy this setting down to on the equalizer APO. Let's see if I remember how to do this. How do I do this? Okay. All right, just paste that in. There we go. Now we have it, and let's bring out the oracle. Where's my oracle at? My oracle somewhere. Uh, Timmy, I think I can't hear frequencies above 13K. Is that bad? I mean, how old are you? Depends, man. If you are like 70, perfectly normal, I think. No, I think for 12K plus, if you're like in your 60s, I think that's already normal. Don't quote me on that, though. I might be wrong. Listener, are you still in? Can you help answer this guy? Like, um, if you, what's the normal age if you can't, you know, to be, for it to be normal to not hear past 13K? Yeah, I don't like the piece UI. I, I hate it. Have you ever tried IR Audio? I've tried like one. Uh, you have to be pretty old, said listener. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was. I thought you had to be like in your sixties plus or something to not hear uh past twelve k naturally. I got my oracle. I got the EQ. Let's see. You know, if this, I might just replace my Timmy target with this, you know. You never know. Probably not. This has way too much bass. <laughs> Let's see. Ear tips, ear tips. I have so many just random ear tips around here. Which means the target has too much bass. <laughs> has a lot of bass. It is so bassy. But you know, it looks it it looks relatively balanced still, you know, it's not crazy. We have like a mini like a clean annihilator almost kind of look to it. Maybe I'll like it. Yeah, maybe you'll like it. It has a, yeah, like I said, a little clean annihilator-ish looking graph. 
All right, cool. Womp. Womp. Yeah, it's like a less V shape, Annie. Pull up Spotify. You guys can't see what I'm listening to. Like, oh, uh, well, if you can't see on Discord, I guess. <laughs> Okay, what song should I listen to? Let's see. I'm gonna listen to the uh, original first, Oracle, and then I'll turn on the EQ, and then I'll give you guys will see my my facial uh, expressions. God, the Oracle sounds so good, you know. The Mark II sucks. Why did I release the Mark II? This one sounds so good. And it's so comfortable too. Fits my ears so perfectly. One of my favorite for a reason. I'm listening to uh, Golden Hour, JVKE. How do you EQ it with the EQ tool? All right. Oracle OG sounds good. Let's turn on the EQ. And, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Such a good song. Yeah. Is this spelled Jake? You know, this ain't bad sounding. <laughs> this is actually pretty good sounding. <laughs> I actually really like this. <laughs> this sounds pretty good. Vocals are just very, very clean. And the bass is like... Well, this song doesn't have a lot of mid-bass, so let's, let's find a song that has actual, like, mid-bass, mid-bass to test this with. Oh, but everything sounds so good. Trouble level is perfect. The gain is good. Vocal is good. Oh, the mid bass just kicked in halfway through the song. I'd say the bass is fine. Has good levels of bass. But the or Oracle didn't really have like good base to uh, to start off with so but yeah this sounds really good like overall <laughs> I enjoy this it. balance it sounds great oh the rumbly the sub bass sub bass is beautiful this should be like a um, Timmy target v2 no <laughs> I wonder how similar this is to the Timmy target. I'm actually curious. Not that similar actually, it's quite different. I'm, you know, I'm happy with this target, you know. All right, so let's name this thing. What do you, what do you guys want to name it? Just, just type some name suggestion in the, in the, in the chat and then the, I'll, I'll pick, <laughs> I'll pick my favorite. <coughs> mm -hmm. What I am, sus target listener, no, how could you, <laughs> and sus target. <laughs> Mm 
And you know, this does kind of look like uh, red. Let's see. Yadong target. Melvin target. Oh, I like Melvin target too. Melvin has a... Melvin's a god. Is this something Melvin would like though? Would, Mel would Melvin like this one? Can we name it that? Is that possible? Well, can we use emoji as, as a name? Would it register that? Wiz Audio. <laughs> Melvin would not like this. <laughs> oh, I insert. Melvin is such a cute cat. My base, mid base tuck would be less, maybe near that line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On songs that has like actual like mid base throughout the song, it still sounds great. <laughs> I like that it's so clean and open sounding. Like it's due to this, this little dip right here. Plus, just how clean the bass is, and how much treble and gain we have. It's just so wide sounding. <laughs> Jay Stevo, you probably have one of the most sensitive ears for gain ever, if you think. Our ears are shouty. <laughs> you 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 and Hobby Talk have the same ears. Hobby Talk feels the same way, I think. Oh, but this sounds good. This sounds just standard good. So good. Seems people like Melvin. Yeah, Melvin Target. I'm going to name this now the Melvin Target. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is the uh, Melvin Target now. <laughs> I'm going to hop on um, Web Plot. I'm gonna hop on webplot digitizer so that listener can judge my um my uh, slow way of making a target curve. <laughs> I, I I bet there's a faster way, but I just don't know how. <laughs> Melvin target is just red plus ten ohm adapter. Is it really? Is it really? Let me try to pull up an IEM, I guess. No, it's different. It is different, right? 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 Oh no, let's let's do the ten ohm version. See, it's different. You know, it doesn't have that one k dip, and it has like a you know a more slopey you know right here. It's different. It's different. It might look like minor difference on graph but actually any changes here sound can, can make quite a big a difference pretty fast you know <laughs> but yeah just this area and this being different will would make the uh the mid-range sounds already different trust trust <laughs> It's really hard finding good IEMs because everyone recommends ones that are painful to me. <laughs> the world doesn't understand you, J. Stevo. <laughs> you have to pave your own path. You have to become the reviewer you saw you seek to see. Be your own hero, they say. <laughs> Flat justice. <laughs> oh yeah, fortunately Campfire understands you, Stevo. That's so true. Stevo, here, here you go. I found an IM for you. This is 
completely shout free. <laughs> Steve O. J. Steve O. Campfire has answered your call. <laughs> oh god. Uh this is this is fantastic. It's just a it's just a line, isn't it? <laughs> Funny thing is, I actually have a flat target curve called flat justice that I made. That's just a flat line. As you can see, I uploaded my flat justice target and it, it's it's almost just completely flat. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not even it's this not compensated or anything it's just how it is <laughs> the new razor i am ah oh, man we have to go to crin now crin's graph for that one i think crin is the only one with that graph let's go to crin's and take a look at it Do 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 I F do 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 Oh man, I have to log in. So, do you guys pay to use I F Graph two? Just wondering how many people here pays to use it. Was it on 7-Eleven or on his 5128? The Razer thing. I think it was on the 7-Eleven. Let's look at it from... Oh, I found it. There we go. We're going to kill the Ren. There we go. Um, eh. Uh, uh, <sighs> I mean, I used to pay until I hit eighty dollars, then I got free lifetime access. You know, you know, you know, I don't even have lifetime access. What, what is this? I need the listener perk. <laughs> uh, let's just, it just looks bad. Oh. <laughs> Shores engineer, like if it was Shores engineer, then it would be like, you know, let, 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 let me um, um, do a simulation of a lay shore, uh, Shores, not lay Shores, Shores engineer really quickly. This would be a Shores engineer. <laughs> right here, there. I'm Shores now. <laughs> yeah, they. A lot of the Shores IEMs just don't have, like, a lot of trouble, <laughs> to put it nicely, I guess. <laughs> You work for him, pay him more. <laughs> yes, I, I, um, uh, conspiracy theory. I get paid in, um, uh, graph membership. <laughs> yeah, it's just bad. It just looks bad. Let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Before I end this live stream, let's let's actually make this target inside the uh, inside the uh, e e web plot digitizer. And then I can upload it into the thing for you guys. And you guys can download and use the um what's it called again what are we calling this one the melvin target there you go
Do -do -do -do. Listener, don't judge me. This is the only way I know how to make graphs, target, curve, thingy. Okay? Okay? If you know a faster way, don't tell people. Yeah, let, let, let them do it this way. You know, let, let, let me look good for a couple minutes. Let me look uh, at least some somewhat smart. <laughs> there we go. Wow. I look like a genius. Thank you, listener, for not saying anything. I do not endorse people making their own target. <laughs> Listener, why? It's fun. It's fun, you know. I think, like, people should, but pe but do it from a place of, you know what, you, you, you know for what purpose you're making it for, right? If you're making it, like, for yourself to have fun, you know, just uh, you know, keep it at that. And I think that's fine. It's a part of the fun. It's part of the uh, experience, you can say. <laughs> this is uh, this is the most pain in the ass moment for me. <laughs> Why is the name so long? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Why didn't I hide the name? I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, done. Okay. <laughs> Aim trainer. Uh, I don't have listener target on my squig. Now that I, I now that I remembered. Listener, can you send me your target? Onegaishimasu. If you guys want to learn how to do this yourself, you guys can go to the earlier parts of the live stream where I struggle to explain this process. You know. <laughs> I feel like I need to add another point or something. Let me add another one here. At the end here so that it looks more like actually uh, hit the 20,000 mark. Okay. There we go, that's better. Do, 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 do. Now on to notepad. Wank. Wank. Save as. Alright, one more run for the name. Mel Melvin is the current number one. But I want you guys to uh, give me another run of names, I guess. Just to see. I like Melvin, but I feel like, you know, it could be a little more. We, we, we might have a little more uh, interesting names. So I'll wait a little. Name the target. All right, I'm gonna let, let me guys show you the target again. There you go. Name the target. Oh, I got listeners graph. Oh, uh, oh, uh, we're gonna do something fun. Not Timmy target. <laughs> Harmon at home target. I mean, it does kind of look like Harmon, uh, like a modification of Harmon 2016, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it looks like a Harmon 2016 modification, modified. The Sogo target. <laughs> kind of like the Harmon at home target. The H. A H the ha oh that's a good one is the ha target and when people ask is ha just stands for Harmon at home <laughs> there you go we're naming it the ha target is ha perfect <laughs> I'm like twelve years old <laughs> all right let's go back to our uh, 
let's um let's reload this upload target where's our ha target there you go the h a h target boom yeah and now i'm going to upload the listener preference target to see 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 what did i say look look at what happened to the treble here it is just gone it is flatlined like why why is what happened here listener what happened i see that this happens from time to time when i try to upload certain targets onto like someone's squig and this happens sometimes and i don't know why so um listener help thank you <laughs> Or maybe this is just how it is, you know, we never know. Maybe this is just the type of trouble that listener likes. Just like completely flat right right here. Mm. <laughs> Rensport, you can send me your target. Let me take a look at it. You know, um, this target kind of looks somewhat similar to the IEF new target yeah somewhat somewhat so yeah that's the IEF it just has more base kind of I guess maybe yeah I don't know what I'm talking about I'm trying to think what IEM looks close to this target I don't think I have an IEM that looks close to this target Armor 2016 above 1k hertz, but tilt down another 0.2 octave flat line in the treble because people shouldn't pay attention to 7-11 treble anyway. I see, I see. So that was by intention. Okay. Makes sense. No IEMs look close to this because most IEMs have too much 1 to 2 and not enough low mid range. Hey man, listener, if you send this graph to Campfire, they will make it for you. 100% man. They can do it. They have they have they've hit many more wild target curves before. They they can achieve anything. <laughs> you know, this doesn't even look too crazy to um to achieve in an IEM. See, Oracle kind of already has somewhat of that, you know, but it's just this little dip here. Um, what IEM has this? I'm trying to think of what I, I've tried before that has this this kind of... Uh, ooh, so hard to think. Um, I don't think there's one, or at least that I remembered. No, that's just that's just bad. We're just gonna leave it up though because it looks hilarious. Um, oh, oh, this one just flunks in the uh, in the base department, but it was it was uh, it was a good. Yeah, it, yeah, it just flunks in the base. If you know, you can EQ this base line right here. Listener, I found you an IEM. You just gotta EQ the bass. <laughs> You're buying Holocene? Oh no. <laughs> Cadenza 12? I actually have a graph of Cadenza 12. Oh, you know, uh, listener, the treble on Cadenza 12 might just kill you. Uh, it's just a lot of treble. There's like a whole mountain of treble above uh, the target. That's true. That's true. Let's see. Um, someone tagged me. 
Someone tagged me. Oh, this is the Ren port target. You love Cadenza 12? That's surprising. I thought it would just be way too much trouble. But Cadenza 12 does have uh, somewhat of a QC issue to where my unit and I think Chris's HBB, our units here in Japan, actually have more trouble, while the unit that was sent to Philippines have less trouble. I don't know about the unit that was sent to uh, the U.S. or in the North American region. I don't know if it, does anyone have a graph of that one? All right, listener, I'll be on the lookout for a, a good IM for you now that I have uh, your target. <laughs> I take my job as a YouTuber very seriously and my one of my job as a YouTuber is getting people to spend their hard-earned money on stuff they don't need so I'll make sure to uh, find you a suitable IEM <laughs> all right let's look at Renport Renport, that, that doesn't look that bad, you know. That looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. It looks kind of like, uh, yeah, like a less aggressive mid-range Timmy target. Timmy, my grab is a C12 that the North America rep bought it over and showed and such. <gasps> so Hobby has a C12 grab. Okay, let's go to Hobby Talk. Cadenza. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what it is. So you see in the um in the yeah, the North American sample and the sample sent to the Philippines both have just less trouble. So if this is the same unit um you tried, uh, listener, I have a different unit than um mine sounds pretty different <laughs> than what this is because <laughs> mine is just nuts I think the treble is just yeah the treble and the the upper mid range is like yeah <laughs> this one's a tilt naturally tilting down What do you do for work? Uh, I uh, I do various things for work, um, all YouTube related. So I do I I I listen to music and I tell you guys what sounds good. Impedance adapter, a seventy five ohm impedance. I just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hey hey i do not run a casino all right i do work i do have a business in the casino industry but i do not run my own casino because i'd be rich by now <laughs> Timmy's day job is my bodyguard. Yes, I am listener's bodyguard. <laughs> I guard him against um, uh, dust and, you know, you know, bugs and such. Mosquitoes come by. I slap the mosquito away like, ah, oh, you can't. Oh, don't touch listener. Oh yeah, and all the haters as well. Anyone leaving hate comments against listener, I go and delete, like delete, delete, delete. See? True bodyguard. I guard him both physically and emotionally. So yeah, I, the best bodyguard, what can I say? <laughs> Uh, 
All right. So now that I have that target, actually, I should do this before I forget. Is I should upload that to you guys so that you guys can actually download it. So in the link in the um, description, uh, not yet, don't go there yet, I haven't uploaded yet. The Ha target is being uploaded. Listener, do you want me to upload your target for people to download as well? <laughs> That's up to you. But yeah, on here I have the OG critical target or the 2020 critical target, the Harmon 2019, the Ha target. And yeah, all link in the description. You guys can go download it for yourself. <laughs> I'll be talking. It sounds dope. No, it does. How? 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 Dude. <laughs> So listener has given us permission to upload his his target on. You guys can download listener's target as well. Ren port too, I guess. There we go. Now you have Ren port target as well. Yeah, we're all sharing targets. We're spreading around targets. Target love. Target is life. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired, all right? I only had like, I had three hours of sleep. <laughs> a good I am need no targets. <laughs> what are you? Are you from the I am community back in 2010 or something? <laughs> Graph bad. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is a target black market. <laughs> Actually, I think I made... Did I make the hobby talk target back in the day? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I didn't. I probably didn't. Or did I? I can't remember. I do. Oh, I have a hobby talk target target. So I'm actually going to let's, let's see. Let's see what it looks like now. I, f I forgot. So I actually made the hobby talk target back in the day. I don't know if it was changed. Probably it was changed. But yeah, this was the um, original Hobby Talk target. <laughs> this is the OG Hobby Talk target. So, this is a good question. Can you tell us a bit about how collab works? All right, let me demystify this amazing, um, uh, amazing phenomenon we call collabs. So, yes. Well, I guess I shouldn't say for all collabs, I guess. I should just, I'm telling it from my, my experience, right? I can't speak for Crin, COs, HBB, and many others. So, this is just from my experience is I get to dictate the driver setup, the tuning, and to a great extent, the design of the IEM as well the art, the box and everything else. That's that's that was my experience. At least with the Galileo, yeah. Or or is it more high level question like give some opinion to shoes from um no, that's just all my contributions. Tuning, driver count, um again, art design, yada yada yada. Oh, price as well too. You can kind of dictate the price range you want it to be at. See hobby talk. Can I upload your target hobby to the uh, target database here that people can download? Do I have permission? Perfect. Hey, you guys can download the new Hobby Talk Preference Curve now at the link below. Go now before time runs out. This offer does not last long. <laughs> Kidding. All right. That was a fun live stream. 
a lot more fun than I thought. I thought it would be too boring for you guys to, you know, do all the nerd stuff like this. But I'm glad we got some nerds in here to help it along, you know. <laughs> so thank you all for joining. Uh, let's do some, I guess, last minute, five minute Q&A. You guys can ask whatever you want to ask. And after that, we're going to sign off. Yeah. Yeah, listener makes up 80% of the nerds in this uh, in this chat. <laughs> Thank you, listener, for helping answering all the uh, technical things <laughs> and joining us for the stream. Have you guys seen listener's um, face reveal yet? Is it up on the, the headphone show channel? I think they keep all their live stream up, right? Uh, I don't know if I can find. Yes, yeah, up. Thanks for redoxing me. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey. It's um, uh, it's good. People know like who you are and stuff. You know. I can't be the only one out here doxing myself, so I, <laughs> I gotta dox other people. It's it's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest surprise I am you heard recent. Surprise meaning good and bad surprise, right? Um, honestly. Surprises, man. Nothing really surprised me in the I am like world anymore. Mm. Yeah, I guess nothing really surprising. I'm trying to think of looking back at all the I am's. Yeah, nothing really surprising for a long time. I think that's why I haven't really been uploading a lot of videos as well. It's because like there's just really nothing that super excites me that makes me want to upload and you know. I'm just waiting for some more newer releases maybe to come out and hopefully surprise me in some ways. Can you EQ treble dip to a peak after auto EQ? Don't EQ treble. <laughs> Bad idea. Bugs Bunny voice. What's up, docs? Yes, exactly. Do you drink coffee, matcha on a daily basis? Uh, I don't drink coffee and I don't drink matcha on a daily basis. I do drink them from time to time, but um, I am not a slave to caffeine like most people are. Yes, I am. I am mildly proud of that and also tired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like forcing myself to not drink coffee I mean, I mean i'm not forcing myself I, I i just have this mindset of like oh, i don't want to be addicted to caffeine you know so many iams these days are single dd harmonish i feel your lack of excitement yeah i mean for a single dd there's only so much you can do and i guess to an extent double dd and stuff as well you can there's only so much you can do Milk coffee, best coffee. Mm -mm. I can't like I'm I'm Asian, you know. Lactose, you know. <laughs> it's a it's a common thing. Companies how at hobby top politics companies for listener target to be changed. You want to see? Doesn't want to get addicted to caffeine. Gets addicted to audio. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I am I am a uh, I'm a YouTuber at heart. When I got into audio, I, I I already have like two other YouTube channels, and I knew that with every addiction comes an opportunity to uh, feed that addiction with uh, with stuff from companies. So, like with fragrances, I got really into fragrances. Then I started a fragrance channel because I wanted some free stuff. <laughs> that was my idea. I was like, well, I, I hope brands send me some free stuff so I don't have to spend so much money anymore because fragrances are expensive. And then I started uh, the uh, audio channel for kind of this, like 
the same reason. I want to try a lot more audio stuff. I want to own a lot more audio stuff, but damn, they are expensive. So here I am with the channel. <laughs> Do you intend to try the sound rhyme? Da, da, da. I have no clue what those are. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's um, at, at some point, like being a reviewer, you you have to get free stuff at some point, or else you're just broke, man. Like it's it's you can't buy everything. It's impossible. Those who do buy everything, uh, hats off to you, I guess. Um, you made some good money somewhere else. <laughs> so the casino channel is actually a channel that... Interesting story about that is that I went to a casino dealer school. I wanted to be a blackjack dealer in Vegas, so I went to a school. And then they found out that I um, have Imagine Scent, my fragrance channel... And at that time, they were also looking to make online course and also make a channel for their own. So instead of me finishing my blackjack school, they hired me to be their YouTube person and help them create a channel and help them film an online course and all that. And one thing led to another. I became part owner of the company and, uh, I, and that's now my biggest channel. And... Um, yeah, that's where the uh that's where the majority of the funds I guess come from, you can say. But uh I guess I can chill. I can chill a little bit since you guys asked. <laughs> let, let let me show let me show my company a little bit here. It's a Casino Quest. Yay. We are located in Fashion Show Mall in Las Vegas. If you guys been to Vegas, you guys know Fashion Show Mall. Uh, we teach you guys how to play the games. You know, if you guys don't know how to play blackjack, roulette, craps, and baccarat, if everything there was just so hard for you, and you don't want to spend real money to learn the game, you know, you can learn it here. We we use all fake money. We just charge by the hour, and yes, yeah, all fun. It's my two business partner. That's David. And that's Alex. You know, it's all fun. Fun times over here. Yeah, that's me shilling my uh my my company <laughs> but yeah there you go uh i do miss the team over there though i don't operate anymore as much i'm just kind of like on the sideline just watching the company grow <laughs> since i moved to japan there's not much i can do from this side of the world crap it's an underrated game it is, it is, it is, man. It is an underrated game. It's so much fun. There's so much to do. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm not here to advertise, uh, 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 promote gambling. Uh, I'm just promoting the game. The game is fun, you know. Go, go learn the game. Go learn the game. Use fake money, you know. I'm not advertising you to go spend real money. Come to Casino Quest and uh, play with fake money. Just have fun. So you run a casino is not that far off. I mean, I it's the same industry, but, you know, different field. We serve, we have actually two companies. One company is Casino Quest, as you just saw, that serves mainly tourists. So we teach tourists how to play the game. Then we have CEG Dealer School. That was actually the first business was CEG Dealer School that teaches people how to be dealers. And that's the school I actually signed up to uh, go to school at. To learn my my uh my blackjack and then I got hired from there so CG dealer school yeah CG dealers you guys can look it up CG dealer school channel on YouTube as well yeah I don't want to shill too much all right that's all that's a lot of shilling already <laughs> I shouldn't shill anymore. <laughs> All right, well, that should be it. Thank you so much for uh, joining the stream today. 
It has been amazing. So much fun. And uh, I'll see you guys again next month. I stream at the end of every month. You know, it's like a end of the month update stream, whatever it is. Hang out. I do it every single month. So join me next time at the end of July. And I'll see you guys. Uh, yeah, and, and end of July. What am I saying? <laughs>